What's up, everybody? It's your favorite son of anarchy's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at... Did I just use that recently? No, I used chips, right, for the groove? It doesn't matter. Today we're looking at the Hasbro Retgar. This is all known to me from Paul C. Still part of that same care package he sent me. I got one more mainline release in that care package to look at. And then I think we're going to be done with Hasbro for a while. But I say that, but who knows? Anyway, we are going to look at this guy. There are some really good things about him. There are a couple weird things about him. But in order to get there, we got to look at accessories. So he comes with his axe, it spins, which is nice, not a lick of paint. He can hold it, it can also be stored on his backpack here. And I think this is supposed to be stored here. Uh, I don't know, a little fan on the back, I guess that's okay, it's a little corny. But I, I think I would have much rather preferred it like, you know, on the side here or something. Like, I, I feel like it's been stored better on different, you know, iterations of this character. And he comes with two tires for the motorcycle, um, and then they're kind of shields for robot mode, right? Um, they are not painted well. So the yellow plastic is one piece, the center piece is another piece, and then the gray is a separate piece, I believe. But the red is painted on, and it is just slopped on here. I don't know if you can see any of that. But, like, error, error. Error, 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 error. Aaron, earn, iron, earn. And pretty much the same on this side. So, yeah, not the best in that regard. But you can use them and mount them onto these spikes uh, at both his elbow or his uh, forearm, rather, and his knees. And that is kind of a cool look. And then, obviously, you need the wheels, you know, to go for the motorcycle. We'll kind of do this as we transform it. So let's look at the figure, and it's not a bad one. And there's actually some impressive stuff going on, and then some goofy stuff, but um, such as Hasbro, right? Head sculpt, pretty sharp. The mustache is painted, the eyes are painted, the accents of the gold, the red there is painted, the windshield is painted. Look what happens when you put effort and energy into stuff. It tends to look good. The head itself, ball peg, you get up to there, so that's pretty good. Nothing really down, the swivel, and you don't really get the confused look either. But it's okay, because it looks so good, in my opinion. And then we have the shoulders, they're universal joints. They get you past 90 degrees and 360 around. Let's back out. Um, bicep swivel, red paint for the stripe across his forearm. It's crooked, but it's not its not the worst I've ever seen, but it is crooked. And then this part is painted here as well, and that's actually painted nicely. What's not so nice about that section is this huge hollow flap there on the back. Just unfortunate. We have uh, these bits here. They're on ball pegs, so they can actually be <laughs> manipulated a bit, which, you know, whatever floats your boat. You have the waist swivel. You got a... Uh, a bit of an ab crunch, which is nice. The saddlebags will get, that's what they're called. They'll get up and out of the way. Remember, I couldn't remember what they were called on, um, on Groove. And then you have full Van Dam, full Monty on soft ratcheted universals out to the side. You have a thigh swivel and you have hollow, hollow, hollow thighs like he's had work done in Tijuana. Do you know what I mean? We have a knee that gets you about 90 degrees, no paint on the pelvis, no paint on the thighs, no paint on the hips. When we get down to the lower legs, we do have paint, and voila, the lower legs end up looking more interesting. But the brown paint is done well. For the ankles, ankle tilt down, ankle tilt up, and quite cleverly where the ankle plugs in is one piece of plastic that then hinges on a separate piece to allow for an ankle rocker. Quite nice. I dig it. Then we have the gold paint on the back. Um, and there he is from the back. Size comparison wise, there he is with a seeker from this line, I believe. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's good or not. I, I would probably be a little upset with the seeker being short rather than him being tall, but there you have it anyway. Hopefully that gives you some sort of idea. All right, so let's get it transformed. Um, and I guess this is kind of, you, I mean, you, know, you got to kind of undo the transformation to get it. So it probably isn't fair, but if you wanted to cheat, you could get like a reverse butterfly there. I don't know. Depends on how far you want to take it, right? So, tuck the hands in. And did the wrist swivel, did I mention that? I feel like I didn't. Tuck the hands in. Uh, make sure that the arms are straight. 
And it's a little challenging because they go... I think that's it. And then... Let's see what we're going to do here. You can fold this piece out. You have to extend all this stuff. You have to extend this. This ends up becoming the seat for the bike. Keep that straight. And move this piece down so that you can get the windshield and the whole front of the bike out. And then that this all needs to sit back up in there. But the chest needs to come kind of down. So... There is kind of what you're looking for. Then you want to fold the arms in. And as you do so, angle it so that the peg for the chest will go into the bicep. So you may have to spin it there. And you can connect one of your tires into the front there. And then we have the, you want to kind of angle them out, bend the knees forward until you can't anymore. And then they come up and tab in to the shoulder. And you can use your other wheel here. And then tab that into the shoulder. And I think that's pretty much it. I'll, uh, I'll clean it up and then we'll take a look at it. And here it is. Um, it rolls okay. The front wheel is a little tight. I wonder if I can't loosen up that little, a little bit and, and it's a little tight. Uh, the translucent comes through nicely. I mean, it's a pretty fun little transformation for what this is. I feel like it could be a little bit more intricate, specifically, you know, to fill out some of this a little bit. But the engine block and stuff is painted silver. That comes through nicely. I, I think it's fine. You know, like, I don't know. It's not great, right? Like, it's not, like, amazing. It didn't blow my mind. But I think that, you know, it's okay. I don't think there's anything to hate necessarily, you know, which is nice to say and see. So good on them for that. And there it is next to Tiger Tracks. Um, I do wish there was like a kickstand or something that you could, you know, because it is a little bit like, yeah, that's unfortunate. Negatives wise, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this other than like the just egregious hollow bits at the back of the forearm as well as the inside of the thighs. Like it's just off-putting, especially for how good a lot of the elements of this figure are. It's just like, I don't know, it seems like they do take the extra step on a lot of things here, but on that one or on those components, they were just like, meh, this is okay. There's also a ton of paint mistakes on this guy. Now don't get me wrong, it's nice that they're adding some paint, but but I'm not sure if I would take it with the, just the amount of errors that are on this. It's significant. In fact, I think the only place that is clean, luckily, is on the face and the forearms. Otherwise, it's crooked or it's sloppy, etc., etc. Also, because of the spikes and stuff, they end up getting warped, which is a bit of a bummer as well. But honestly, I mean, that's about all I got. The positives are that it does have a fair amount of paint. It's pretty well articulated to include an ab crunch. The transformation's fun, especially for a motorcycle. They could probably go a couple extra steps with the extra mile here and there on the transformation, but overall, it's still effective. It comes with the appropriate accessories and they all integrate. Sculpt is fair. And I think the price at around 30, 35 bucks, somewhere in there, right? I believe, I think is okay. I think it probably would feel a bit better around 25, like an old school Voyager, but it doesn't seem as much of a slap in the face as say that hot rod or Rodimus did. So yeah, I mean, if you're in for this line, this is a recommend from me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.